Well, this is interesting. started with this video give it a thumbs up that's right thumbs up all right we have some dope nintendo switch news items for this video and we getting right to it the first one arc system works has three unannounced nintendo switch games coming in the pipeline specifically coming very soon ratings board Silicon Era, a Taiwanese, Taiwanese, Taiwanese rating board. They have revealed three new Nintendo Switch games coming from Arc Systems. Good developer. They've made some of the best Switch ports on the system. Specifically, Dragon Ball Fighters. Bro, Fighters on the Switch is one of the few third-party games that one for one is just as good as any other system the graphics the uh, frame rate everything and so good to see that they have a couple more games coming for the switch it's probably going to be a fighting game um they've also ported blaze blue cross tag uh, to the switch an underrated fighting game I didn't pick it up. I had the demo. Demo was lit. And so, three new Switch games coming from Arc System Works. Can't wait to see what they officially will be announced. Um, whatever it's going to be, dope developers should be good. Next news item. What are you staring at? A black hole for hours on hours and hours? You probably were if you know anything about Fortnite. <coughs> Fortnite Chapter 2 is supposed to be launching any day now, any moment, any time. We don't know when, but there was a huge event yesterday. I did live stream it. The servers were jammed. I wasn't able to actually get in the event, but I live streamed it through Fortnite's official channel. And everything from Fortnite got sucked into a black hole. <laughs> and so it's rumored that we're going to have new map a new map finally that's gonna be lit a new map and there are rumors that possibly fortnite could be taking a page from apex legends where we have different um here um different characters with different abilities i hope so there was i think found in the file um constructor as one of the types and so maybe building is going to be limited to just one archetype which i hope that's the case ah that's the only thing i don't like about fortnite it's a building i hope different heroes just have different comp um, complete abilities that's what makes apex legends lit man so stay tuned fortnite chapter two there's going to be a complete overhaul i i was watching some of ninja's tweets on twitter and he was saying you guys need to keep an open mind with Fortnite Chapter 2. So he probably knows some stuff. And there might, there's probably going to be some big changes if he's saying keep an open mind. <laughs> going to be interesting. Should be lit. Next news item. A couple of dope Nintendo Switch demos did drop this past week. Specifically first, Resident Evil 5 and 6. You can download the demo right now on your switch so you could check out the game see if the game see if any of these games are for you resident evil 6 did have some controversy i remember when it uh, launched back in the day that it was more focused on action and not resident evil in a dark quarter where you got one bullet to take out 10 zombies <coughs> and so resident evil 6 did switch it up with 7 they did sort of go back to their roots but the demo for these two games are now available on the eShop and like I said a um, couple of dope demos um, Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD um, a demo is also available on the eShop I'm probably I need to download this demo man 
Monkey Ball, um, Super Monkey Ball was my jam back in the day on the GameCube, man. And for my old heads, who remembers Marble Madness on the NES, bro? Marble Madness was lit on the NES. I think that's where the Monkey Ball series got its inspiration from. But um, definitely, definitely, definitely want to check out um, Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. Love the games back in the day. A demo is now available on the eShop. Go check it out, boy. Speaking of coming soon to the Switch, I've already reported that um, Brain Age was announced in Japan. But now we have an official U.S. launch date. The game will be coming in the West. January 3rd is the date for the U.K., for Europe. And so usually um, Europe and U.S., the games launch around the same day or a day uh, apart. So right at the beginning of the year, Brain Age. You know what? I'm surprised this didn't come out Christmas. But I see what Nintendo's doing. Have all your other games come out. <coughs> and then, what else can I pick up on my Switch? And then right after Christmas, booyah, Brain Age for your auntie and uncle. They can play that on the Switch. So Brain Age will be dropping on uh, the 3rd. I probably will pick this up, even for my kids, man. Just give them something educational to play on the Switch. It's cool. And you can use the IR camera. You can do, like, paper, rock, scissors. It's dope. It's dope. It's dope. All right, here we go. Next news item. This is a little controversial, bro. Platinum Games Studio Head. Atushi Inaba. Apparently, he's gotten his hand on development kits for the PlayStation 5, Xbox Scarlet, and his response is surprising. He was not impressed with the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Scarlet. His words, his words, and I quote, more of the same. <laughs> He's saying Sony and Microsoft on their next generation systems is pretty much going to be more of the same. And I partly have to agree, bro. I say this all the time. This is why I pick up Nintendo consoles day one. Who would have thought this would be our next Nintendo home console, bro? Nintendo does something unique and different every generation. That's why I like Nintendo. They innovate. They, they, they give us something that put a smile on our face. Whereas, we pretty much know what we're going with the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Scarlet. The same systems, but more power. I guarantee we haven't seen the controller yet. <laughs> but I bet you the controller looks something like this for the PlayStation 5. They did say they're going to have haptic feedback on the triggers. I wasn't hyped for HD Rumble on the Switch. So, <laughs> stuff like that. It's all about the games and how the hardware interacts with the games. So, um, and now by the Platinum Head Studios, he said he was not impressed with the PlayStation 5, Xbox One. Not so that he's not impressed, but he said it's going to be more of the same. Just more powerful specs same games but the games are going to be in 4k probably 90 frames per second i don't know but um at the end of the day it's the software that that um um moves me to get systems and i say this all the time nintendo easily best first party games not debatable if you want uh, this way you have to pick up a switch bro for the exclusives bro nintendo's exclusives fire all right next news item couple of games um did just launch or about to launch first killer queen back there's a lot of hype around this game i'm sleeping on this game i don't know too much about it when i see it it reminds me of joust bro my first gaming system was an atari 7800 bro the 7800 from atari i still remember that commercial um <coughs> but um killer queen black just launched um up two days ago two or three days ago on the switch there's um, a lot of people uh give this game a lot of good reviews it's a good multiplayer game i know this like was big in the arcade um recently but killer queen back go give the game a look it just launched on the switch and bro tomorrow tomorrow's going to be pretty dope for the switch first witcher 3 
I'm low-key tempted to pick this up on the Switch, bro. Low-key. I haven't even got a Dragon Quest 11 yet. I ain't tie paws out. I ain't... Bro, my back, my backlog is starting to back up. I still need to be Link's Awakening at Dragon Quest 11. What's, what's messing me up? NBA 2K20 on the Switch. I'm grinding right now a pure sharpshooter, bro. I, I noticed my game style is just three-point shooting, so I want a pure sharp on the Switch. That's going to be my final build, bro. But because I've been doing that, my Link's Awakening, I haven't been able to play Link's Awakening. Um, Dragon Quest 11, I got to play those two. So I'm probably going to hold off on Witcher 3, man. And last but not least, to round out the fantastic news for the Switch, Overwatch drops tomorrow, day one buy. If we could preload it, I'm going to see on my uh, on the eShop if I could preload Overwatch. I'm going to um, have that on my Switch, locked and loaded, ready to go. I hope they do a midnight launch, Nintendo. Nintendo, can y'all do a midnight launch for Overwatch? Come on, bro. I got a newborn. I'm going to be up anyway, bro. Overwatch going to get it day one. Speaking of Overwatch, if you want to game with your boy and Overwatch on the Switch, join, 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 join a dope Nintendo Switch gaming community. Shout out to Eve We Go Out. He j just became a member through Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you could join uh, the OGC through your Twitch Prime um, for free. Just subscribe to my Twitch channel. Or YouTube, there's a join button right below this video. Or on Patreon.com backslash Obi Wan Plays. A game nightly with the sponsors. Tonight, we're going to be playing Splatoon 2. Going to be on that Splatoon 2. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things men. 10. Go. Deuces. Oh, we almost have a Reggie piece of me. I can't wait to try out the new hamster character in Overwatch. Never used them before.